and here is bullet time. So, same as before. Oh, I have more, I just realized. I've also got med packs. So you can see, um, if I damage myself by hitting G, pick up a med pack using E, med pack increases by 1, use a med pack by pressing Z, and it heals me. Um, the other thing is bullet time, so. And now with bullet time by pressing control. Look at those bullets go. Um, so bullet time gets into red and then it turns off and heals back up. And the idea is um, when you're in red you can't turn it back on again. So no matter how much you press control you can't turn it back on again, turn again until you're in green again. Um, that's pretty much it. It regenerates faster than I'd probably should at the moment but that's um because otherwise it makes it hard to test so there um the code for it is here so it's made up of um oh, the medpack stuff as well so to damage yourself pressing g will remove your health by five picking up the nearest item calls pick up item giving yourself medpacks for testing uh heal using medpacks the it, the math there is really simple, it's, you know, it's never go above max health, blah blah blah, um, try and heal by 50 points. Enable bullet time, whenever you press left control, it'll decide whether to enable it or disable it, um, and it'll make sure there's always more than 10 units of bullet time remaining, and each tick of bullet time it will decide to update or like, increase, if you're not in bullet time it'll increase the amount of time you have remaining, otherwise it'll decrease it different amounts. Um, it'll take you out of bullet mode if it goes down to not having enough. And all it is doing at the moment is calling time dilation. Um, but the intention is that you'll also add visual effects there, sound effects, that kind of thing.